Hello technology world, this is Gabriel Smith and I'm going to do a really quick webcast on fixing broken packages on the Linux operating system. Now the scope of this webcast is contained to CentOS, Red Hat, and Fedora. If you're using something like Debian or Ubuntu then of course none of this uh, will apply. The audience for this presentation is anyone who's had frustration installing a package on, uh, on Linux. Now, let me explain what happened to me. I noticed that I had several packages available or several updates available, and I decided to install those updates and walk away. And what happened is that someone in my house I'm not going to name names, I'm not going to say who, but you know who you are, came along and they rebooted my computer without telling me. So when I returned, I saw these messages saying that I had incomplete transactions. So I was trying to figure out what to do about it. And after a little research, I ran the command called yum complete transactions. That's yum hyphen complete hyphen transactions and I when it started it started to pluck along for a while and I saw there was a lot of activity on the screen but then I noticed after five minutes it was still running and after I took a closer look I could see that it was started to loop within this section of updates and I, I immediately hit like control C to stop it and I thought that maybe Nautilus was the problem and I think Nautilus is part of the file manager what I did at that point I uninstalled Nautilus and then I reinstalled it again and then it seemed to go a bit further but then I started to get the same type of problem this time it wasn't with Nautilus it was with something else so I did a little bit more research at this point I'm really frustrated and I came up with a few commands that I could run to fix this problem the first one was yum complete transactions cleanup only that's yum hyphen complete hyphen transactions hyphen hyphen cleanup only and what this does is that it cleans up your log files or your journal so basically when you update your system when you run your package updates the yum installation will keep track of what it's doing so when you run this command it's basically going to clear that log or their journal that keeps track of everything the next command I ran was package hyphen cleanup hyphen hyphen clean dupes so there's package cleanup cleanup dupes and what this command is going to do is it's going to locate any duplicate packages on your system and it's basically going to clean that up now after running those two commands I you know the real fun began I ran a command that will allow me to see any uh, conflicts so the command that I ran was package hyphen cleanup hyphen hyphen problems so basically package cleanup problems and when I ran that command I noticed that there was a conflict with a program called Zol Runner and it was trying it was a dependency of Firefox so what I had to do was basically in a nutshell I had to uninstall Firefox and I had to uninstall Zol uh, Runner and I reinstalled Firefox and that pretty much cleaned up the problem and I started the update all over again and everything went smoothly except I was getting some com com conflicting errors and what I recommend that you do is if you start to get package conflicts when you're trying to run a update on a huge list of packages probably the best thing to do is to run them one at a time so that you can clearly see what's causing you a conflict 
and once you've done that you can basically it'll tell you what package is conflicting to what's already installed in your system and at the point you have to choose whether or not you want to live what out that package or if you want to take the risk of uninstalling the conflict on your system and installing that package and more than likely that package will install a different version whatever it was conflicting with now other commands that are of interest are debug info install and the description for this is that basically install debug info packages in their dependencies another command of interest is repo closure and basically this is going to read the metadata of repositories and check the dependencies and displays a list of unresolved dependencies so this is a good way to figure out if you have a broken package and finally another good you command of interest is yum rebuild dep and this is going to install missing dependencies to build a specific package so this is it uh, really quick web pass on broken packages I hope that some of this information is useful to you if you have any question comments concerns please send me an email at busy386 at gmail.com and you can also subscribe to my channel Thank you for your time.